Got some new sunglasses, guys. As you can see, I'm pretty stoked about these. Got them for free via rewards on my credit card, so that's pretty dope. I was gonna buy them, but they were free, so I'm pretty happy that uh, I got these. In other news, we are going to Columbus, Ohio this weekend. I will be driving there, not flying this time because I'm only three hours away, so that'll be a quick drive for me. Move back a little bit, a little too close to the camera. So I get to drive, so this is a pretty chill event for me. I really, I really enjoy it because I can just drive there and it's not like I'm going out of town or anything. It just feels like I'm just driving to go play COD, so that's pretty dope. Um, they put the brackets up, so you can see that right here. As you guys can see the bracket, um, I kind of probably edited that in there. Uh, we play first round, we don't have a buy because we got like the eighth seed. So the first round we play Rise, the ninth seed, or they might be eight, we might be nine, one or the other. We play them first round in a best of seven. Winner of that, we'll go on to play Optic. And then the winner of that, we'll go on to play either ISO or Optic Nation. Those are the other teams on our side of the bracket. The bottom side of the bracket is pretty stacked. As you can see, you got the Nile, you got Phase, you got Elevate, you know, you got a bunch of he and envy. You got a bunch of heavy hitters down on the other side of the bracket. It's just kind of the way that it formed, and kind of the way that everybody, you know, placed online. It's not as consistent, so you're gonna end up getting in inconsistent, you know, matches and stuff like that. And being that we only play one match against every team, it wasn't always a home or away game, so it could have been unfair at times. So um, denial kind of screwed up and got the tenth seed, which kind of screwed up the bracket a bit, and. Um, I think it's still going to be a really fun event. Um, I think I'm really confident. I think we can beat Rise, and I think in a best of seven against Optic, we're going to have to really show up and you know take like two respawns, and you know two of those search and destroys. And I think we can do it. It's just going to be really tough. Uh, but we're going to go really hard. We've been practicing and stuff like that. I know I say this before every event, um, but we, like I said before the last event, we changed our practice schedule, and it actually helped us. So we changed it again. Um, you know, kind of reminiscent of our last schedule, just having fun, less stress environment, less a stress-free environment, and just helping each other get better individually, and it helped us a lot. And I think we're gonna, you know, get a lot better from that. Now let's talk about the event. If you're in Columbus, make sure you stop by, make sure you come check out the event, being that there is only two events left in AW, I think these last two events are going to be some of the craziest events that we have. I think Columbus, this this weekend you're going to see some of the best Call of Duty you've ever seen. I don't know why, I just have this gut feeling that teams are starting to, you know, get better and they're actually want to turn up at these last two events because people are hungry again. It's been a bad year for a lot of people personally. This year hasn't been the best for me in terms of competitive Call of Duty. So I know I'm going to be going out there playing with the hunger to win. And I know I can't be the only one. So there's going to be a lot of people with that drive. And it's going to be a good weekend of Call of Duty. And also people want to show up at this tournament because New Orleans World's $250,000 prize pool is coming up in a month. So people are going to try to turn up at this event. So, you know, people who want to make changes, people are looking at, you know, the people who do well at this event for that. And also people just want to show up and, you know, instill... I don't want to say fear, just make people, uh, just show people that you have what it takes to win pretty much. So that's why this weekend I think you're going to see some of the best Call of Duty you've seen in a while. And then, like I said, Worlds is in a month. So this next month, even though the last few weeks or months or so haven't been the best for our scene, this next month is going to be like kind of that boost we need right before Black Ops 3, which is going to be a crazy year. But uh, make sure you guys, you know, check out the stream and support us to all the TK fans. I appreciate it. I'm glad we could make you guys proud at the last tournament. Gonna try to do better this time. And uh, I've been placing, I placed good at ML, the MLG events in this game, so it should be uh, a good weekend. And like I said, Columbus is close to me, so it's nice and comfortable. If you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Your love did appreciate it, and I'm out. Peace.